Hi, I'm John Barber, Editor-in-Chief at IDW Publishing, and welcome to Barber Shop. This week, IDW and Sega complete a one-two punch of everybody's favorite blue blur with the release of Sonic the Hedgehog number 33, hot on the heels of last week's Sonic the Hedgehog Bad Guys number one. Why highlight issue 33 of anything, even if it's Sonic? Usually I'm here to talk about a new number one or a graphic novel or a collection or something. Well, in a lot of ways, Sonic 33 is a new number one. Since the IDW run of Sonic got off to the races, he said, straining a metaphor, the main writer on the series has been longtime Sonic talent Ian Flynn, and he guided Sonic and company into a really fun new era. One of the things that's amazing about Sonic as a comic book series is that the comics appeal to such a wide range of readers. We've got folks who followed Sonic's adventures since his debut. We've got kids coming in when they pick up a Sonic paperback at a school book fair. I mean, when they had those. We've got readers who were introduced to Sonic via comics, video games, animation, the movie, and from anywhere between zero and 29 years ago. So it's a hard job to write adventures month in and month out satisfying everybody, or getting as close to everybody as you can hope to. And Ian's been incredible at it, pulling us through what I'll confidently call Sonic's most epic comic book adventure ever in the Metal Virus Saga, which came to its thrilling conclusion pretty recently. So, hard to write, also hard to draw. I mean, Sonic and his friends have character designs that are beloved. Did you happen to see the internet in 2018? Then you know what I mean. Staying true to the look while injecting the personality of both the character and the artist is a singular task. And we're lucky to have a bevy of all-time greats working on our Sonic comics for the past three years. One of the best and brightest is a cartoonist named Evan Stanley, and she's what makes Sonic 33 so special, because as of this issue, she's taking over as writer-artist of Sonic. In this issue, she starts carving a path that will continue to define what the IDW era of Sonic comics means. See, things have settled down a bit in the Metal Virus's aftermath, giving our heroes a chance to try to repair the damaged robot Omega. But without a cipher to decode Dr. Eggman's plans for the bot, there's no way to fix him. So Sonic recruits Tails to break into an old Eggman base and get the cipher, while treasure hunting spy Rouge the Bat teams with Amy Rose to look for the right materials. But Rouge's reputation precedes her, and a simple job quickly grows into an epic con. And, and Shadow the Hedgehog's involvement doesn't make anything any easier. So okay, that's Evan and colorist Reggie Graham on Sonic. But what about Ian? Well, we're definitely not abandoning him, as you might have seen with last week's release of Sonic the Hedgehog Bad Guys Number 1, written by Ian, drawn by Transformers Lost Light artist Jack Lawrence, and colored by Leonardo Ito. This new four-issue series is sort of the other side of the coin from number 33. Where Evan's story follows the heroes, Ian and Jack put us on the trail of the villains, who are also recovering from the world-shaking events of the Metal Virus Saga. Eggman's protege, Dr. Starline, the nefarious duck, has hatched a new plan. That's a really strange metaphor. Starline vies to unite Sonic's greatest foes to get revenge against Dr. Eggman. See, Starline feels burned by his one-time hero, so he brings together the elusive Mimic, the dangerous Rough and Tumble, plus Zavik and the Deadly Six. Starline's playing a dangerous game, trying to balance the monstrous egos, uh, all looking to grab power. So there we go. Two Sonics every month, reflecting the light and dark sides of the Sonic universe by some of the most talented creators out there. And I'd be remiss if I left off that list. Editor and designer extraordinaire Sean Lee, assistant editor Riley Farmer, and editor David Marriott. So visit the IDW website or your local comic book shop or retailer and check out Sonic the Hedgehog number 33 and Sonic the Hedgehog bad guys number one. And as always, let's use this time to connect and keep the IDW community active. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below, and I'll answer what I can. It's all for this week. Remember, you can keep up with IDW on social media and check back here every week for news and updates. Thanks for watching.